It's also another day. Yesterday he was a splendid, and uh, today is another day. Full of blessing and full of light. Once again, let us just bow our head down to thank the Creator, the one who created you and I, the one who gave us breath to breathe, the one who gave us strength, the one who lead us, the one who directs us, the one who teaches us, the one who instructs us. The Spirit is in us, wherever we go. So if he has waked us up this morning, we need to say thank you. At your own time, commune with your maker, thank him for what he has done for you, from January 1st to today, 31st, we only have one day more to go and we enter into another year. What are you telling him? You are in good health, you are alive. He gave you some money into your pockets, you were happy. What are you telling him? Just say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And thank him for what he has done for you. Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Ashe. Thank you once again for saying thank you Lord. We just go through our formation. And today our formation says I am spirit and I, I am naturally enlightened. Uh, I am spirit and I am naturally enlightened. I am spirit and naturally enlightened. As usual, I'm going to go over it three times and then you repeat after me. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. I am spirit. Let's start all over with some. If you are spirit, you are not dead, you are alive. You want to put in some vim, man. I am spirit. I am spirit. And naturally enlightened. And naturally enlightened. I am spirit. I am spirit. And naturally enlightened. And naturally enlightened. Final one. I am spirit. I am spirit. And naturally enlightened. Let's give it a thought. Yes. Give it a thought from your heart. Give it a thought from your mind. Give it a thought from your spirit. I am spirit and naturally enlightened. How do you make up of this? What do you think about it? me goes back to what you said yesterday, um, the affirmation from yesterday. Um, I am African and everything I need is already in me. Wow. Good. Okay. Is there anyone else who wants to share with us about today's affirmation? Natural, natural, natural. Natural. Beautiful out here. 
So yeah. I feel, I feel, I feel this. So I think we should all remember that we are fun and creative. And we are natural. And we are spirit. We are spirit energy. You know, you have the power to do whatever you choose to do. Hopefully it's on the, the brighter side and not on the shade side, you know? But yeah, I feel that. I hope everyone feels it as well. I am spirit. And I am naturally in my I am a part or a part of me is the primordial matter of the universe. And in every cell in my body. It permeates the, the divine energy in us all. Continue. 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 I think it means uh, I have the spirit of my ancestors, so it's naturally in me. sharing all that he said is true i am spirit and naturally enlightened you did not fall from the skies no someone molded you you did not generate or uh, 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 pop out from the sun no someone brought you up um i read a book that says that it was written by a white man something something robertson and he said Africans, they saw Africans dropping from the skies. And someone says Africans were uh, sleeping on, on top of the trees. I read all those things and I asked myself, so if Africans were coming from the sky, then when you lift your heads up, you should see Africans there. We are governing you. And then the, the, the one who, uh, on top like this, and the person, the white man looked at me and said, oh yeah, what I said is true. Because if you, in your book you said you saw Blast coming from the skies, that means we are up there and you are under light. That's it. Now, God's breath is in us. That is why we became a human being. So we are God. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Little God. A little God. Yes. Or we are the same being as God. Yes. And because we are little, you are always enlightened about everything everything um let me tell you something about one of my uh, uncles who uh, passed away last year um his called professor fke aluti professor fke aluti i don't know any of you have heard about him he's a mathematician and a scientist when we entered into 2000 the millennium something came up that no plane can take off there is a, 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 a is it a virus or whatever that is called y2k do we remember y2k yes. yeah who solved y2k <laughs> it's a black man a Kenyan, uh -huh. who solved that problem yeah. he took the whites the scientists so-called well scientists two weeks they were not able to solve the problem no plane took off all computers and other things could not work because of Y2K. He called upon him, he left here, I stayed with him for a short time, and then he traveled to US, and he went to Switzerland, he lived in Switzerland. And it took him only 30 minutes to solve that problem. Whilst 
those who call themselves scientists and took them two weeks to be pronounced. It was a black man. Right. Professor F.K.E. Alonso. It's in the world record. Guess right. the minutes, he was able to solve the problem. Yeah. Then, 45 minutes, planes were able to take off. Right. God has put something in him as a black man. If you said we came from the sky, then he's closer to God. And God has given him that idea. <laughs> so he used that idea to solve the problem. So whatever God has put in us to enlighten us, we need to use to solve that world problem. When um, COVID-19 shows up in Ghana, people were already uh, uh, preparing for that. There were a lot of herbalists who came out with medicine, and it was tested, and it solved a lot of problems. But uh, as someone said, why supremacy? You were able to convince some people somewhere, somewhere along the line. They have to say, what the black man did is not true, it's fake. So therefore, we are created by God, and we are always enlightened. Thank you so much. We are in Cape Coast right now. Cape Coast used to become, or used to be, sorry, Cape Coast used to be the capital of the Gold Coast, and it became the capital of the uh, uh, current Ghana. And you know, it, 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 it's it's um. In 1877, in 1877, the capital was moved from Cape Coast here to Accra. So Accra was capital of the Gold Coast and entered into the capital of modern Ghana from 1877 till date. When you talk about Cape Coast, the name Cape Coast wasn't the original name. It is a cape along the coast that was found by the whites. That's why they named it Cape Coast, a cape around the, around the coast. At that time, anything that they found there, they named after it. Like the Portuguese called it Cabo Castle, meaning the gold mine. There are not a lot of gold in our country. We can be found along the shores and everywhere. When we were kids, our mother told us, our grandmother told us not to sweep at night. Why? The ancestors might be blessing you at night and you sweep and go and throw it away. Have you heard that? They said we don't sweep at night? Oh, yes. Uh huh. Why is it that we don't sweep at night? They said the ancestors might be blessing you. The blessings might come to you, but you sweep and go and throw it away. Someone will pick it. So, therefore, don't sweep at night, sweep at day that you can see. Yeah. So, Cape Coast was the capital of the Gold Coast until 1877. That was changed from Gold Coast to, from Cape Coast here to Accra. It is the kernel of education, formal Western education. In a lot of books, they've written that education started from Cape Coast. That is never true. We have ethno education where our parents taught us from infancy. But to learn the English and other foreign language, it started from here. It started in the castles. We uh, are castles because it was built to trade and later trade on other commodity, not human being. But later human being became the main business. So at that time we call it a castle. The castle is where the governor of the uh, uh, Gokus lives and works. Very soon we see the uh, famous or infamous slave dungeon and then the castle. That is the one ahead of us, the white one, and that is where we are going. We're going to have a, a tour there and a, a short ceremony. Uh, there are some guys over here who come over here to buy 
whatever they are selling. Please, uh, we are not here for those guys. We've seen a lot of them, and we have a lot of merchandise. We are still going to have more when we leave here to Tumasi. As a result of that, um, I'm pleading with you that when you come down, ignore these guys, and we go straight to the slave dungeons to have our program. Some of them can bother you. They don't care. They've been doing this for years. So please, don't let them worry you. Don't let them bother you. Whatever they do, say, I'm sorry. Okay, just be polite. Thank you so much. I'll be back. Okay, thank you so much. I have a business to do inside. I'm sorry. I cannot wait. I'm sorry. I can't go. Uh -huh. And you see some of them, and they'll come over. So we will just go straight inside. Please. Let's go straight inside and have the program done. Thank you so much. Um, if you 